Hi, my name's Kerry Houston. I'm a systems engineer slash sales engineer with Pomeroy. And today is what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a, a utility that I wrote to implement power management in the 4690 OS environment. And so here's my little lab set up here and it's already running in the background. But on the left I have a, a master controller. It's a CC and it's running the utility in the background right now. And it's there but you really can't see it from here. And then on the right I have two terminals. The one in the middle is a TCX wave. Its ID is number one and the one on the right is a 350 and its ID is number two. So basically is what I'm going to do here is, and this wouldn't be uh, what you'd do in reality, but I'm trying to show you some flexibility in here and I'll explain some things. We'll have some dead time where I'll have a chance to explain some things, but right now just to kind of give you an overview, uh, you'll see terminal number one go into uh, S3 mode here shortly. And then a minute after that, you'll see number two go into deep sleep. And then a minute after that, they'll both come up. And then there'll be, uh, there's another profile where, where it's supposed to go into deep sleep, but it's going to skip it because of a, uh, a feature that I have built into it. And then we'll finish by both of them being be it going into deep sleep at the same time. So uh, right now, uh, you'll see number one go into deep sleep here any time here within the next minute. And once it kicks onto that, I'll kind of explain some things behind uh, the configuration of the utility. There it goes. And you can see how quickly it goes into deep sleep. So we have about a minute until number two goes into deep sleep. So basically, there's a any file and um, and in that configuration I have uh, different profiles. So you can have up to four profiles in addition to a default profile. And the profiles are very simple. You just specify the terminal IDs that are associated with that profile and then you give it a, an off time when it goes into deep sleep and then an on time when it uh, comes back to life. And uh, it's it's that simple. And if a, if a terminal ID is not in one of the other profiles, it automatically goes into the default profile. So in the simplest configuration, you would simply have, um, you know, if all of your terminals were going to, going off at the same time and coming on, on at the same time, all you'd have to do is in the default uh, section just give it a, an off and an on time. There goes number two. And I think... So both of those should should come on in one minute from right now. There is a little bit of dead time here. And the only reason why I'm doing it this way is I want to compress the time frame to show you as much uh, flexibility of the system that I have. Now while that's kind of while we're waiting on that, we have uh, about 45 seconds on that. Um, just real quick on power management basics, and I'm not an expert in this field by the way, but uh, there, there used to be APM, which is Advanced Power Management, and that was a technology that was implemented, oh, probably up until about five years ago. And you'll still st see it around up, by the way. And then, at least with the Toshiba family of point-of-sale registers, I think it was about five or six years ago, it was around the 4800, 743 family. They have a technology that's called ACPI, which is what you typically see on, on newer units now. And that stands for Advanced uh, Configuration and Power Interface, I believe. You'll see how quickly these come up, by the way. So you just saw that, so both of those came up. It takes literally 10 to 15 seconds. In the Toshiba documentation, uh, they mentioned uh, it, it would take less than 45 seconds. So that's much, much faster. Now, these two terminals I have are, are fairly decent terminals as far as, uh, you know, CPUs and performance. So, uh, but they, they, re, they respond very, very quickly. Um, so going back to the power management, so ACPI, the, the advantage of ACPI is uh, it allows you to go into what they call deep sleep mode, which is S3. And there's two advantages of that. Number one is it's a really good balance between the, maximizing the amount of power savings or minimizing how much power you use versus uh, how quickly it responds and recovers. 
Um, and so that's the advantage of S3. And then the other advantage of ACPI is that it, it passes, um, what I want to say, it passes the ability for OS to have control of the uh, power management, which, you know, because of that, it allowed me the ability to write a program that, that can, can do this now, which is really, really nice. So, so ACPI is what they currently have. And like I said, it's been in, in the registers for a very long time. Um, I've heard about it. And as a very curious SE, but I've really never had any customers or known of anybody who's really implemented it. So finally, I just took it upon myself and I said, you know what? I'm going to figure this thing out and I'm going to actually do something. So uh, thus, the, that's what prompted this utility that I wrote. Uh, let's see where we are now. Uh, on, on the uh, controller, I have it saying it's 1329. So basically 129. And at... 129, I had another profile set up uh, that included both registers 1 and registers 2, and they were both uh, supposed to be powered off or going to deep sleep. And it now just turned to, to uh, 1330, which is past that time frame. So the other thing that, another feature that I have in there, and I just saw the profile change too, so that's good. Um, another feature I, I built into this, and this was because of a comment that a customer made, is they said, hey, what if you have you know registers that are getting uh, software updates in the middle of the night or in their particular case they use terminal offline feature which requires um, you know the item file and some other things to get refreshed at night and I don't know if they have those on a you know on some sort of timing uh, schedule or something I, I, I'm not aware of that but so I, I put another feature in there that allows you the ability to basically um, suspend the utility. I was trying to find the exact word. I didn't want to say uh, turn it off because you're not really doing that. You're suspending it. So basically what it does is if it's in that suspended mode and there's a profile that it's supposed to execute, it just ignores it basically. And so you have the ability to do a, to, to do a couple of things. You can actually turn it, turn it in, off in suspend mode and leave it that way indefinitely or you can also kind of schedule it so you can give it two commands this is when I want it to go off this is when I want it to come on um, and I, I chose the latter which uh, it has another um, uh, command to turn it back on so it skipped that profile and we can look at this a little later so 1332 is when both of these guys are supposed to go down so we have about another minute before that happens So just a, just a little bit, uh, while we're waiting here, a, a little bit else on these. So when a terminal goes into suspend mode or deep sleep, there's a number of ways you can wake it up. Uh, obviously, the one that I'm using here is uh, through the program, right? It, you, so when you send a command down to the terminal, you give it a, a time when you want it to wake up. Um, and that's what we're doing right here. A couple of other ways, too, is you can also hit the power button. Uh, which, you know, for most grocers, that is not a very uh, convenient method, so I wouldn't recommend it. The other method is, is um, activity on the terminal. And from what I've read, it's got to be the sure port, the powered USB port A, is wake aware, which basically means if there's activity on that port, it will wake the terminal up. Um, and on these, so there you go, 1332, so it just went down. Um, so on these two terminals, uh, you can do you can hit the keyboard on either one of them, and then on the TCX Wave, it is a touch screen, and you can also uh, wake it up uh, via that. And I'll I'll demonstrate that here to you. Uh, so that's actually the end of my demo right there. But here we go. So I'll uh, I'll quickly uh, just show you this here real quick. So just hit the keyboard here, and you can see how quickly it recovers. So, you know, about 10, 15 seconds, not very long. And then on this guy, you can actually uh, activate it via the, the screen if you hit it just right. Okay, that's the end of my demo. If you have any other questions, I'm going to actually uh, do a couple of other videos that I'll put up there on, on uh, YouTube that you can access and stuff. And you can also contact me as well. Again, my name is Kerry Houston. I'm a systems engineer with Pomeroy. Uh, you can email me at uh, Carrie, that's C-A-R-Y, period, 
Houston, H-U-S-T-O-N, at Pomeroy.com. Thanks for watching.